with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, it's obviously very cold here in New England, but the Midwest was hit, hit even harder by the very cold weather. One of the coldest temperatures I could find was negative 48 degrees yesterday in Norris Camp, Minnesota. That's not a wind chill, an actual temperature of negative 48 degrees in Minnesota. Right now, temperature is warmer than that, but still brutally cold. Negative 13 for an actual temperature in Green Bay, negative 12 Chicago. A little more reasonable here, but still very cold with wind chills running below zero. Now you hear a lot about the polar vortex, which is really a circulation in the upper level parts of the atmosphere. A lot of times it sort of circulates here around the North Pole and the Arctic, but sometimes you get these chunks of the circulation that break off, and that's the situation right now. You can see that chunk hovering close to southern New England, but notice over the next couple days we finally get this out of here and by Saturday and especially by the end of the weekend temperatures will start to moderate. Wind chills, well they don't really improve all that much today. Right around zero into the afternoon you have a breeze, actual temperatures in the teens and it's tough to get a feel like temperature much above four or five degrees. So it's definitely a bundle up kind of day and night. As we go into the overnight hours it won't be as breezy as what we had last night through this morning, but actually temperatures will maybe a little bit colder. That's why wind chills running right around zero degrees, maybe below zero at times. Tomorrow afternoon, a little better, but when we're talking wind chills 10 to 15, you know that it must be cold when you think that uh, wind chills of 15 are actually warm. Well, it's all relative, right? It will be a little better than what we're seeing right now. Temperature of eight right now in Glendale, 11 in Smithfield, 13 in Providence, 12 Narragansett, 14 in Westerly. And we had those pretty intense snow squalls last night. So some areas got more snow than others. Still a blanket of snow here in North Situate with a deep blue, but very cold sky. Uh, Narragansett a little breezy. Clear skies with wind chills right around zero. Wind chill in Providence negative two with a breeze out of the northwest at 14 miles an hour. So temperatures not too much higher this afternoon from what we're seeing right now in the low to mid teens here for Charlestown, Westerly, Narragansett, Wickford around 14 degrees. Northern Rhode Island temperatures may not get much above the low teens around 12 in Burville, 13 when socket, 14 Johnston. Uh, just icy cold with those breezes out of the west at around 10 to 20 miles an hour. Here in eastern Massachusetts, temperatures also running in the mid-teens, 14 for Seekonk, 14 for Attleboro, and 14 in Fall River. So tonight, breezes not quite as bad as last night, but those actual temperatures will be tumbling into the low teens, so wind chills still around zero. You can see around 12 degrees just before midnight, and places like Smithfield Taunton wouldn't be surprised if you get near zero before temperatures recover a little bit tomorrow afternoon, but I wouldn't really describe tomorrow as our real recovery day. It's really Saturday and Sunday where it's a little more reasonable. You can see lows around five degrees tomorrow, 23 tomorrow afternoon, and then on Saturday we do get up to 34, but Saturday morning starts very cold again. We're around 16 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning, noon time around 31 and around freezing by 5 p.m. But look at this. Yes, we do have a high of 38 on Sunday, 50 for a high temperature on Monday. So temperatures do start to rise rapidly into next week, and we could be talking about the chance for some rain showers on Tuesday and Wednesday with high temperatures in the mid 50s to upper 40s. So even though it's hard to imagine rain showers because it's so cold right now, we could be facing that as we go into next week. Of course, the WPRI Pinpoint Weather app, a great tool to have with you. Not only do you have interactive radar, but you can also get current temperatures across other New England. All right, thanks so much, Pete. Yep. And now for some of the stories we're working on live at five tonight. Our New England Nation coverage will continue with live reports from Atlanta. An in-depth look at what it means to